Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how we can configure Tailwind CSS into wheat generated React project. So as you know, both tools are very popular nowadays for faster and rapid development of application. So I will guide you step by step how you can configure Tailwind into wheat project. So without a further ado, let's get started. So first we will go to wheat. This is the documentation for wheat. If you are new, I will guide you. Don't worry. So here I'm going to use yarn package manager i'm just assuming that you have node.js installed on your machine if not then head over to node.js.org and then go to download section and download this node.js once you have downloaded this node.js then you are good to go so here you can follow npm package manager but i'm going to use yarn so uh, it doesn't matter so first what i will do i will run this command into one of the folder then it is going to ask me some questions question like what project name I want to give so here I will say YouTube video let's say 03 because I already have 02 after that I need to select what framework so I will choose react then I will choose TypeScript version you can choose JavaScript version it's, it doesn't matter and the wheat project is ready so I will now navigate to this folder and I will open VS code now here you can see this is brand new wheat generated react project now we will head over to tailwind documentation site and here we will move to documentation now here you can see there is a tab called using wheat so we are going to exactly follow these all steps so first I will take I need to install these two packages so since I am using yarn so I will be using yarn add and these two dependencies once it is done then we will move for the next step wait for a moment because it is also installing all other packages because this is the like you know brand new project so that's why it's taking a, a bit time but usually it doesn't take that much of time let's wait or we can move forward as well so uh, okay what we are going to do here is that we're going to import this from tailwind wheat package so here i will move to wheat config i will import this and then i will call inside this plugin section okay so this step is done now we need to import this into the index.css file so let's import this one this is done and next it is saying okay you just start your project so i'll be using yarn you can use npm dev both is fine so here now it is started now how we can correctly say that it is installed so what i'm going to do I am going to change the color of this particular header. So let's move to app.tsx and I am going to use class on uh, where is the title? Let's find out. Yeah, here is h1 tag. So here I will give a class name and let's say uh, text and let's say uh, for now let's say red. Now you can see this the color has been changed so we can say that tailwind is configured properly here. So I think that's it for this video. See you in the next one. 